Calvin with Park Tool. Truman with Park Tool Company. The bicycle, in many ways, is a pretty simple machine. So we would think it'd be easy to take care of and find the components and parts you need. Turns out, that's not always so easy. And it sure would help if the bicycle industry could come up with common terminology when we're all talking about the same thing. Certainly, we see this down in bottom bracket land. Like this thing here, a BB-86. BB-92. Uh, I meant a Shimano press fit. Oh, uh, it's PF-41? Uh, tomato, tomato, and some others. They're all the same, but we don't agree. But it is even more the case when we're talking about bicycle tires and the wheels that they fit. Grab a tire and start looking for numbers. We go all around here and we find them. We have a whole long series right along here. Lots of numbers. These are actually three different terms for the same equivalent fit. Why do we need three sets? Because we can't seem to get along. Maybe with time, that can change. The first set of numbers is the ETRTO system, an abbreviation for European Tire and Rim Technical Organization. We'll be coming back to this number in just a moment. The 27.5 number here, it's a vague tire sizing system. Consider it more a reference number, it's not an actual measurement. Nothing on here is measuring 27.5 inches. So why even have this system if it doesn't actually measure anything? Basically, it gives the inch users something comfortable to be familiar with in terms of the outside diameter. But again, pretty vague and pretty squishy. Like this tire. It's labeled as a 27 inch. But this tire is gonna be bigger, 27.5. Clearly it's gonna be larger. Or maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, maybe no. it's basically the same. Yeah, so the outside <laughs> diameter, we're really looking at the same. Two different systems, two different names. The last number in that set is 650B. It's yet another vague and squishy system with numbers to work as a reference, but they don't actually measure anything. These are from the French tire system. The 650 millimeter is a nominal outside diameter of the tire. In the same series of 650, there's a 650A, a 650B, a 650C, and none of them are interchanging rims or tires. So what exactly are we to do? Let's look back at the first number that we saw, the ETRTO number, or also known as ISO number. These numbers actually mean something. The bigger number in this set, the 584, in this case, is the bead seat diameter, sometimes called BSD. It is the diameter of the wheel where the tire actually sits. On a 27.5, or 650B, the bead seat diameter is 584 millimeters with a bead to bead in the rim. So the other number is the inflated width, which admittedly is a bit nominal. Running the tire on wide rims or skinny rims will change the number quite drastically. So tires, they're not the only part of this system. Rims are also coming into play and we're seeing ETRTO and ISO markings on rims. So, so this rim, if we look really, really closely, get out the, get out the uh, my, uh, magnifying glass, we will actually see the ETRTO number here, 622 by 15. Mm -hmm. So the small number, 15, is from flange to flange on the inside, so that inside diameter of the flange. Second number, the 622 number, is from this bead seat from down here to the bead seat up here. 622, 622, 622. that's where the tire fits, and I got one. Got one right here. 622, right on the label where it should be. Nice. That'll, that'll, that'll. That's great. That'll work great as, as long as we are going in a straight line. Oh, this is not so great. This is real extreme. Have a look at the width here, and look at the skinniness here. Just a middle guy. Yeah. This is a big plus size tire. We need to get a big plus size rim for this. Right. You got the skinny, skinny rim on the big fat tire. 
leaning into those corners, things are gonna fold over and even come out, burp, rip off. Then it gets ugly quick. Tears in the end. No bueno. So what we've seen and we're talking about is all these different ways, plus size, double plus, this, that. It's a squishy soft system in the inch, 27.5, 26, 29er, or the French 650B, 700C, 700D. Look that one up. So the ISO, the ETRTO system, it's giving us numbers that we can check. We know what they're gonna mean. It's gonna make interchangeability a lot nicer. So, now that we kind of know what ETRTO is, uh, what would be really nice if you guys go out to your bikes in the garage, find that ETRTO number, write it down, come back in, write it in a comment, pop it down in the comment section, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna figure out which one is the most popular. And it'll be just really good information for us all to know. Um, yep, so thanks for joining us, and thanks for learning our language. On this Tech Tuesday, Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content for Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.